the sun was beating down with the hot rays the sky was its scope conspirator without a single cloud to soften the harsh rays the lizards and the small reptiles took shelter under the shadow of the big mountain there is only a lone tree there barren of leaf as barren as a pond nearby there stands a desolate man his feet sunk deep into the sand the hair was thick and hazy his each breath was a deep sigh defeat and frustration desperation and desolation is writ large on his face looking at the man the mountain talked to him why do you look so unenthusiastic spiritless and frustrated the man said i am the fighter who can never win i am the runner who never touched his goal hell tortures me with the edges of my thoughts heaven tortures me with the splendor of my dreams what profit have i of my animal birth what profit have i of my human soul i toiled like the animal like the animal died fate and my fellows cheat me of my wage and shake from my aching neck and shake from my aching neck the oppressors knees i have loved but none has loved me since birth my fruit of work is given to other hands all that is left in me is my evil thoughts i know my fate ever be the same i suffer and toil and weep i moan and hate hearing these words the mountain told him just climb me the kind divine will lift you up meet the bird there at the top of the mountain listen to what it says for guidance something in him urged to climb the mountain and to meet the bird he started climbing The sun was already high in the sky. He reached the top of the mountain. It is a breathtaking view from the top of the mountain. The vast expanse of space. He saw the happy bird. He went near the bird and asked, "How can you live in this place? You look so happy and how is it possible?" I just can't imagine this the bird replied Yes what you said is correct I also thought so a few years back in the same manner because this is the hottest place a few years ago I was struggling to get food and water here As days passed by, it became very difficult for me to survive. My body became very weak. I could not see also properly due to my poor vision. I could not even raise my wings. My wings were almost burnt by the scorching sun. I was really in a bad condition. I could not even fly to other place for survival. No food, no water. I was cursing my fate. There is only struggle and suffering. There is nothing but total annihilation in my life. One day, an angel crossed this place. 
I asked the angel where she is heading to. She said she is going to meet the god. I requested the angel to ask the god when my sufferings will come to an end. The angel met the god and asked whatever I had requested her to ask. God had replied, it will take seven more lives, seven more janmas for the bird to come out of this suffering. But a kind hearted angel asked the God, is there any alternate way you can suggest for the bird to come out of this quickly? God said, ask the bird to keep thanking every situation, every moment in life. The angel came back to me and told me what God had suggested. From that moment onwards, my life changed. I am happy now. From the moment the angel told me this, I started thanking God for each and every event in my life. I thank God for sending the angel. I thank God for giving me the right guidance. I thank God for even making me alive, survive even in this first condition. I thank to God for making me survive even in this first condition. When I get food, I thank Him. When I don't get, I thank to God. When I got water, I thank to God. When I don't get water, I thank to Him. When I fly, I thank Him. When I could not fly, I thank Him. When I fell, I thank Him. When I raised up, when I got up, I thank Him. Thanking for the hottest summer. I thank God for even the hottest summer. I thank to God when rains pour down. I thank to God when storms blew my house. I thank to God when I became homeless. I thank to God when I got the place to stay. Every moment, every situation, I started thanking God profusely from the heart. No matter what my circumstances are, I just thank to God. My wings started growing. I was able to raise my wings. I was able to fly. I could find food for myself. The trees started sprouting leaves. Some more birds came flying to this place. I was able to survive in this place. Now I am happy. I am happily living in this place with my fellows. This is the power of gratitude. The suffering which needed seven janmas to come to an end was ended in this janma itself by just thanking the divine. I thank God now for sending you here. Get down on the mountain. You will meet the lotus. Hear the message of the lotus. That message will guide you. The words of the bird gave the man a feeling of hope and trust. He climbed down the step. He climbed down the mountain. And as he got off the mountain, the view changed moment by moment. The weather changed. There is only silence. Absolute silence provided there. He reached the base of the mountain. As he scanned through the view, there is a beautiful landscape with tall trees. The wind danced through the tree tops. The scene was lifting. He started walking towards the scenic place. The flowers growing nearby had a sweet fragrance. 
humming bees were dancing in the air. The place was all wonderful, all beautiful, all peaceful. He felt the sense of inner peace and harmony, endless peace, shadowless light, perfect harmony. Endless peace, shadowless light, perfect harmony. As he walked on further, he saw a pond. The pond was skyline silver in color. Water in the pond was crystal clear. The pond was beautiful, peaceful and still. He then noticed a gorgeous lotus flower in the pond. The flower of the divine drew him near the pond to have a better look at the flower. The large light pink in color had remained high above the water surface. The fragrance was so appealing. The lotus radiated richness, beauty, and majesty. The lotus looked like an avatar of the supreme manifested upon him. The lotus, on seeing him, whispered to him. Did you know, did you hear what the bird said? Did you hear what the bird said? Keep that in mind. Be thankful for everything in your life. Thanking the Divine is the way of life. Don't discriminate between good and bad. Just thank any person, any event, whoever meets you. If you carry on your life with gratitude to the Divine, if you carry on your life with gratitude to the Divine at every moment, wisdom's calm control the passionate heart. Misery shall pass, abolished from the earth. The world shall be freed from the anger of the beast, from the cruelty of the titan and his pain, there shall be peace and joy forevermore. There shall be peace and joy forevermore. There shall be peace and joy forevermore. He felt as if a new life, a new journey has started. Filled with enormous joy and trust in life, he started walking from there as a complete new man.